Roland Williams started as Champion Academy to make a difference in the lives of children in the city. We checked in with the academy when it began its two-week camp. They say it's like you could be successful, and I, I want to be successful in life, so that's why I really signed up for the camp. Dylan Foster is like most of the campers. He wants to succeed. That's why Roland Williams, a Super Bowl champion and East High graduate, created the camp. What I want to teach our students is that whatever their dream is, they can use the same principles I use to go be successful in football, do whatever they want to do. For example, what do you want to do when you get older? I want to play basketball. Bam, you can use all the stuff I got to help you. What do you want to do? I want to be uh, a teacher. Bam, you can use all my football stuff to help you. I'm like the shortest person out here, and I don't know what to do, because <laughs> I don't know most of the people here, but I would like to meet most of them. The Champion Academy hopes to take students, boy or girl, short or tall, out of their comfort zone. We're doing testing, doing testing. To challenge them to work together on one of 32 teams toward a common goal. And I think that any relationship starts with a chance to become accountable. It starts with you a chance to bond and connect as humans. And they even took written exams. Two places you can get free internet. What contributes to my credit score? This wasn't what I was anticipating. Topics like goal setting and internet competency. You're down to seven minutes. He wants to make it fun. He wants to teach you the life lessons you need to survive in this life. We caught up with the Champion Academy at the end to see how it's impacted the students. More than 400 students sit inside Charlotte High School, listening intently. <laughs> they grasp on every word from Roland Williams because not too long ago, he was in their shoes, attending East High School. Now, he's a Super Bowl champion. He doesn't only teach you about football. He teaches you about honesty. He'll teach you about teamwork just how it's supposed to be done on and off the field. Dakota is like many of the students at the Champion Academy. He hasn't heard much positive reinforcement in his life. Williams hopes this two-week camp to kick off a year-long program will change that. We call it unbreakable belief. You know, you have to believe that change is possible. You have to change that poverty mentality. You have to change that losing mentality. Williams has had football camps in years past, but this year it has evolved to include so much more. Now there are all kinds of sports and girls too. Before the academy started, like I never thought I could believe in myself or become what I want to become. But when I came to the championship academy, now I believe that I could become anything I want to be. Students apply teamwork to classroom situations in everyday life. They even learn how to establish good credit and keep up with their finances. And we'd love to uh, uh, establish a baseline for young people to be comfortable with financial institutions, with finances in general, in a way that'll uh, ensure that they have a healthy relationship with their finances as adults. Using life lessons to teach what you learn on the field can be applied in the classroom and at home. We learned about this thing called life ball. And uh, life ball is like football is not just the sport, it's, a, it's actual life. You have to learn rules. There's rules in, out in, in our world, and there's rules in this life ball thing. The biggest thing we have to know is that um, it takes a community to change a community. It takes us all to stop talking about our community and wanting to make it better and take action. WHEC cares about our community. We've taken an active role to sponsor a team in the Roland Williams Champion Academy. And we, along with Roland, invite you to join his effort to take a hands-on role to lay the foundation for a better future for our community's kids with his Champion Academy. You could donate money or your time as a mentor. To find out how to help, go to championacademyrochester.org. We have a link set up at whec.com. I'm Scott Kilberry for News 10 NBC. Thank you for watching. So we gotta start telling a different story if we're really trying to help these students. Oh, they can't play football, bro, they can't. That's not how I, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, listen, 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 listen. Here's they don't know. This stuff gets me turned up. You know what I mean? You know, I know, Craig. Look, my freshman year at East High, right? I was a bum. I didn't play at all. I was, I, I was a big dude. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't play. My sophomore year at East High School, I sat the bench on varsity. My junior year at high school, I broke my foot the first game and didn't play. How y'all gonna tell me that's because of football is how I was able to ascend? That's because that's of unbreakable belief, you know what I'm saying? And a passionate work ethic. Folks can believe in your future, not your past. I played one year in high school. You feel? I beasted out that one year, though. <laughs> I mean, I don't wanna lie to you. I don't wanna lie to you, so I ain't put it in that one year, though. But I'm saying, but still, though, with one year, that's more, that's more mental 
than that is physical. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how, how we how we are around here. How is talking about me my, going to my senior year when I ain't play or did nothing for three years? The dudes who sophomores like, ah, bro, you sorry, you gonna get hurt or something probably. You ain't even playing, huh? What they were saying? Killing you. Now, you know how they, how they was treating me, right? Y'all know they was probably killing me, right? You that big sophomore, bro. You soft, but you cool though, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't about to play. That's called belief, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what these kids gotta learn first. You gotta believe in your circumstance despite your past. And you gotta have some courage to go get it. Same with your dream, homie. You gotta have courage to keep fighting. Step to me, step to everybody. Keep going, don't stop, huh? Don't stop. They like, oh, when are you supposed to stop? When I get there. <laughs>